it's your boy this is the dude and today i'm back with this story about barack obama's tour to africa i mean let's say i want to talk about his tour to our country okay forget what i'll be saying if you, if you watch this this video you have to forget right now before you watch it okay first of all i i like give a shout out to that i mean yeah he's kind of like my father i i appreciate him he's my you know my inspiration you know from his strange background until today man it was weird the way he lived his life until he became the president of united states of america it is so fucking beautiful and i hear these people say i'm struggling i'm struggling nigga you don't know how to struggle if you if you didn't watch the barack obama documentary you have to watch it right now man i, I bet you'll be crying like how i did so there are three important things that i'll be talking about today very important bitch very important it was july 1st that nigga i mean the president came to our country and and be honest I was really really happy that I would be seeing him that's what I fucking thought okay I'm not really into politics but I heard he came for the power source I don't know building or buying it fuck it alright so the first thing that I want to talk about is the budget that was used to clean the environment and shit you know a place for him to, to sleep food and most of the agri thing is those 700 people he came with no yes no yes what the fuck i said no yes no yes no yes no yes honestly i was not in the airport the day he arrived but i i was watching tv everything was on the tv so i saw everything not really everything it's almost 30 people there were two flights air force one for him and air force one for the other guys I, I i didn't even see nobody in the plane i don't know if they they left in the plane or what but there were two motherfucking bigger flights the budget was 64 billion oh well that's price for 36 bugattis oh. i don't want to talk about that again yeah second thing is the whole arrival guys that day i was supposed to go to the college but i fucking didn't you know why there were no cars almost all the loads were blocked and i asked myself is it a public holiday no is it a christmas no now what the fuck is that arrival uh you must be very able and well educated elder man uh, thanks son you're welcome Okay, last thing is our culture. Um, we all know that Obi grew up in the U.S., but he's also from Kenya, um, where his father lived. It was so your highness that after the people of United Republic of Tanzania heard Obama was leaving, millions of people were on the lines besides the road just to say bye. I was one of them, but I didn't tell nobody because he was weird and what we thought and what the security told us is that he'll be passing showing his head out with his right hand saying bye but you know what actually happened he passed like Van Diesel in the Fast and Furious 6 I'll show you the clip I recorded that day at the end of this video so the tour was taken negatively and positively to the people of TZ negative people we're like, what the fuck is that nigga came for? I know you black, but I ain't even like him, yo. He just came to sign fake contract though. Can't watch him. I better see my ass off. And positively, people were like, that's what we have been waiting for. There'll be no power problems no more. I bet God blesses him and his family though. 